you know what I was going to be time for. Oh, yes. Now, when I made that review of the Combat Troodon knockoff vert or knockoff video, I basically did say in my video saying, oh, when I get my hands on the Combat Troodon, the real one, you know what's going to happen. I'm going to be doing a video between these two. Now, I will be saying here is, sure, I think people who, you know, didn't have knowledge or... I'll I'll just admit this to myself. I actually thought uh, that I actually thought I was getting a pretty good deal for like one hundred fifty dollars, you know. And this was at also at at a car show in you know in Arizona, which you could probably know. Oh yeah, another thing I didn't realize that there's uh, also have SE actually means single edge, which. I didn't uh, realize at the time, but I think I've actually seen that whole situation. But the weird part, this is a double edge. That's that's, that's another really weird, you know, noticeable thing that it could be pretty much a knockoff. So, yeah, I I actually kind of gave my benefits of a doubt, and the only price that that was actually you know was two hundred for me was just the Ultra Tech. And to be honest about it, admittedly to myself, I'll just admit this, like, it's like, oh, I don't want a, a very small knife, a really small uh, Microtech knife that was going to cost like $200. Well, you could probably know why. Because I just got a clone, which that's, that's actually pretty bad for business, to be honest. And to be honest about it, yeah, people couldn't really afford something, you know, like a... Between this versus a, you guessed it, a four hundred dollar, four hundred fifty dollar piece, which, which you could definitely know for it, and yeah, it's kind of pretty much dead giveaway to it. So the body on this one, now you could definitely see the biggest difference is the body itself, as you could probably seen from my Tanto OTF review. Where I actually did look for that, how where where it's made from, which it's basically kind of known as in China. Yeah, it has used the exact reused the exact same body, like a generic OTF knife, which yeah, kind of had that really grimy, you know, rubberized pattern. Another dead giveaway, which you could probably so this uh, as you could probably know. This one has pot metal, pretty much all around, it's like made out of pot metal, which, which I think I did mention that in my, in my review. Meanwhile, for this guy, it definitely had a lot more. Now, the one I have, uh, the real one I had, is the Gen Three, to be, well, to be exact. And by actually looking noticeable by this is. Yeah, the entire thing, compared to the blade itself, yeah, it's a, a little, actually, that blade is actually much bigger than the, than the, oh, than the, than this guy right here, the, the knockoff, so that's, that's another big deal. Another big deal that it looks like is a lot of this stuff is more shiny and this is rather a a very much of an older model of a of a glass breaker tip. You know, the one I had is uh this one right here, it's uh just right here. It's a very small tiny glass breaker tip. Another thing about it here is the the handling itself. You could definitely see it's like this one's all little loose that it's almost not even to it. Now for this one, so very tighter, or rather actually still holds on. Meanwhile for this one it's it's actually almost loose. And then the pretty noticeable by this is the construction on this. So the handle now the two of the hand now this one itself is a sixty sixty one T six handle which is much more better quality 
and compare it to, you know, something like this here, you can definitely hear the noise itself. So here is going to be the, so here's the noise, or rather the, you could definitely know. So here's a sound of the original, or the combat chord on the real one. Okay, and then you got to the knockoff. So that's, you could definitely hear in the knockoff has that ding sound, which is pretty noticeable. Another one that is probably well known for, uh, pretty much for that review, is this here. Now, the knockoff has this, and yes, it has the, so it's supposed to have, a, yes, you could definitely know from this, Velociraptor. That's not really present in the in the Troodon. It, yeah, I even actually looked at the Troodon and it didn't have this. Another one that was uh, pretty noticeable is the 556, which is very much is from a Microtech assault rifle or a pretty much of a rifle from Microtech. So that kind of deal itself. That actually did. Um, that actually did noticing in the counterfeit review or actually to spot them yeah they did say that if you see this here that's not real that you better stay away from it which you could definitely know from that also another thing about about this here is and then you could definitely know that the steel itself is pretty noticeable by it because this one I have from the Combat Troodon is the M390 MK. Meanwhile, this one is just um, unknown steel, rather more like Chinese um, mystery steel, unfortunately. So you could probably know. So I know this is going to get crazy, and we're going to do this. I'm going to show you what you will get in a get for you know four hundred and fifty dollars versus you know five hundred dollars so we're gonna test it so let's begin our test so our next one so our first one shall be paper so let's go try out with the the real deal you can see that one's oh yeah that's that's really sharp In fact, it's actually, that's that's a pretty good paper cut. Those are really pretty sharp cuts from the Combat Troodon. And let me just show you this here. Let's see. There we go. My own hair. Yeah, that's, it actually is hair raising, just razor sharp that it actually can shave off hair. That's, that's pretty pretty good for you know a four hundred dollar knife so let's go try out with the knockoff so oh. yeah unfortunately just let me let me try it with this side because no oh. nope it's Jesus, man. Yeah, unfortunately, I think, uh, actually, weird part about it, I barely used this, and it didn't actually really do any, like, you know, razor sharp cuts, so this is probably going to be something that you're not going to be, like, you know, shaving off hair. In fact, you're just getting a, you know, uh, it could... see, I'm just not getting my hair yeah i know that sounds silly and all but when it's actually so so that definitely is pretty noticeable so by the by that that piece is actually goes to the combat troodon or the real one 
So as you can definitely know, winner of that definitely is getting to the real deal, the Microtech real combat Trodon. So our next test is, well, basic cardboard. Yep, pretty smooth cuts on those. Meal for the clone. Let's just I think the blade is doled out, believe it or not. Yeah, I think the blade's like ooh. Yeah, that's, that's not good. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, that's pretty terrible meal for, for the real one. Here's all the clean cuts. That, that did, did some clean cuts. The fake one, or the knockoff, unfortunately did not, like, do any cuts. I mean, this is really bad. So, the winner, the $450 piece. So, our next, next test are the water bottles. So let's begin. So our test goes now for the combat troodon. This one actually clean cut through it like no other, like no business. Like pretty simple. Yeah, the thing does have a little bit of a not really much of the edge alignment has you know, the edge alignment's my kind of big deal about it, which that didn't went well with it. Mail for the knockoff. Oh, look at the, <laughs> the it, it did cut, but it didn't, like, clean cut through the thing. Like, look at that. But compared to... The tip must have actually was super sharp that it actually just did it pretty good, but for, like, cuts of all things. Like, that's probably, like paper cut levels of of it yeah that's like more like let's see paper cut level of it so y'all know what's uh what's going to happen here so you could probably know the winner of that goes to the to the real one
So our second test of the bottles will be medium plastic. Let's begin. So here's our results. So rather our plastic bottle, this one actually was a pretty deep cut, like that's a very like deep cut. So also like a couple cuts here and there. So that's a that's a pretty good one, which uh, that's that's also getting its point. But you know what's so very surprising about it? The fake the knockoff actually did got a cut, like it's not really the deepest like the biggest cut you can to have like that much like almost could clean cut the thing but as you could probably uh, oh yeah another one here is no that's yep and a stab right here which is you know basically just to finish the job here so as you could probably know that's actually going to get basically is a tie for these two now, it is ways the edge on the real one, but this one did cut through the bottle well, so that definitely gets its point. So the real one actually did cut. Um, unfortunately, I just aimed it to the top. Apparently, like, so yeah. Here's a. That's a pretty like, you know, clean cut from the real one. But even that one also, also it's the same victim to it, which is pretty hilarious about it. But again, this one actually did cut pretty deeply inside. So 
that one gets a point for it. Meal for the fake one, unfortunately, that's uh, just, there's a cut there. It's like probably cut there. And these aren't like, these are pretty strong strikes and they it's not like smooth and clean. It's pretty rough looking. Unfortunately for the knockoff, you can probably know it's, oh yeah, that's right, right here. I think that might be just a stab, which is right here. So yeah, the point goes to the real. And now next up, we're gonna do something pretty much probably might break these two. So, yes, the wood test, somehow them two survived, believe it or not. Now, I heard, like, you shouldn't use bashing these on wood, which is 
understandable. I mean, let's be honest. Uh, so you won't have these things start to break off the spring or have it unlocked permanently. So now I am not going to be doing is actually like trying to nail the thing because you could probably know this would probably wouldn't survive it. So that's going to probably not going to be going well about it. But as you can definitely know for it is, yeah, that's pretty crazy about it. Even, like, you know, I was, like, worrying about this thing would have, like, wouldn't survive, like, with the wood test. But, you know, that's going to be a tie. And now, let's get to our final test, the nailing. Yes, you heard right. We're going to nail them two on a board and see how fast it could get or, or it could break. Let's begin.
So, I was actually was surprised. Um, this one, it actually survived, and you can actually pull it out pretty quick as possible, which that one actually did perfectly well. But for this one, what surprises me the most, which, which I was surprised seeing this, that this one did, in fact, survive the, you know, the nailing test, which... I've seen uh, I've seen a test where you did it to the knockoff, and it was like permanently unlocked. So, yeah, that that happened. But on the other hand, this was surprising me too, is because it survived it. I actually was thought that it would break off or something. Oh, oh there's oh, you can you didn't. Uh, I can actually slide it. Here and there, so it is pretty much like pretty l a little loose on that, but not like gonna break off or something. But it did uh, did well with that result, so so that did well. But uh, pulling these two out, this one was a little little easier to pull out, which that actually did perfectly well. Um, but on the other hand, this one was like took a little too long for that. So you could probably know. Yeah, if this one got stuck in something and then tried to pull it out, it probably would be pretty stuck. A little stuck a little and you're going to have like complete force. You need some like complete force on that so you could pull that out pretty perfectly well. Let's see. Okay, it's... You know, for this one... Yeah, you do need, like, pretty good force about it, but you can actually pull it out pretty good, of all things. So, yeah. So, who won? Well, you could probably all know. The winner to this, uh, to this one is the real one. Yeah, there's just nothing between that, of all things. Now, of all things about it here, I could give this, um, a couple points on this one because... If I didn't really had any prior knowledge on the combat trod on the real one, I probably uh, thought this was like the real thing. But now, since did my research and all that, uh, yeah, another thing about that is the clip is a little loose. So that was a really funny thing about it here. But you know, if I haven't got myself the fake clone, I or the knockoff. <laughs> I probably would not know the difference or definitely in fact would have a reason to actually buy the real one instead but everything else about it here yeah it's kind of that tiredy of like oh if uh buy the clone first and could try out what would happen yeah it would basically on that situation about it like um, this was actually kind of like my first expensive knife I've got, so, well, not technically the, um, uh, that teal katana is the first one, but, or the, uh, K-Bar Swabby of all things, but everything else, this one did decently well, but as you can definitely know, from the results about this, yeah, the original Combat Tron on the real one, I highly recommend getting the real one, which you could probably know. So that wraps up of the verses. Now tune in next time. We'll be taking a look at the Swiss Army Knives. I'll see you guys next time.